Hello, I'm Michael Pinto, Wonder Makers Environmental, and we're here today very quickly show you how to take a Wonder Air Sport Trap air sample for mold safely and correctly. Of course, the first thing we have to have the right equipment on hand. That would include two Spore Trap cassettes, as you can see here, these small devices with the paper tape. These are Zephon style cassettes. Aerocell is the trade name, and this is the Wonder Air unit. The reason that the Wonder Air unit has two separate hoses in here, uh, of course it is uh, powered so you're going to have to plug that in, but it's got two separate hoses and that allows you to take uh, samples in different areas at the same time. You can take an out of door sample and you can take an inside sample, you can take a, a bedroom and a living room, wherever it is. These are 25 foot hoses so you can stretch them out. It's very simple, once you plug the unit in, you take your aerosol cassettes, take the paper tab off, hold on to those, you're gonna need them later, so we typically just stick them right on the edge of the uh, case there. And then it's pretty simple. The aerosol cassette has a round end and a rectangular end. The round end fits into the round end of the hose, just like that, pushes on, and you're ready to go. Of course, you want to make sure that your cassettes are labeled either with a sample number or a location. Once you have them, you can set this hose up over the back of a chair. You can set it up, uh, you know, tape it to a wall if you need to. Uh, you can even uh, tape it against a supply vent if you want to measure the air coming out of your HVAC system. If you do that, make sure that it's taped horizontally against it, not straight into the vent. Uh, you can either use one or two samples at the same time. If you're only going to take one sample, you just have to mark that on your sample collection log. The valve in the center of this uh, compensates for whether there's one or two uh, cassettes on it. Uh, another little trick is if you're using it in the area where you have the uh, sampling machine set up, you can just use the uh, latch at the top to hold your uh, cassette hose in place. If possible, you want to have your cassette hanging at about a 45 degree angle down like that. Uh, then it's as simple as turning on the unit and watching it run. You'll hear the motor, it will run for 10 minutes. It's uh, designed to collect uh, 15 liters per minute that gets us the right amount of air into the spore trap cassette for a proper analysis. It will then shut itself off. We always recommend once it shuts itself off that you uh, flip the switch back to off to reset it for the next time and you're ready to go. Once the sample has run, cassette comes off the hose, tabs get put on. We generally squeeze them down around it so that it indicates that that sample has been used. Same thing on the back side that's now ready for you to send into the laboratory. The sample is done, the hoses get wound up, put back in the case, cord gets put back in the case, shut it, send the whole unit back to us at Wonder Makers with the samples inside. If you have any questions, you can certainly call us, but there's even a handy uh, pictogram on the inside cover there that explains everything that I just walked through in this video. Call us at Wondermakers at 888-382-4154 or look at our website for additional information. Looking forward to helping you with your mold problems.